I lived in public housing right by Mesa Junior High. When my mother got a job, we moved out of public housing. And it was then that I realized the, the gap, the gap between the kids that live in public housing and the kids that didn't. And I have never met anybody that works as tirelessly every day to fill in that gap. So we both have the passion to make sure that that gap's filled for future generations. Teresa Bryce is that one person who really can make a difference. I don't have the skills that she has to, to go into rooms and, and turn people's minds. That's, that's a, a skill that Teresa has that everyone in this valley um, should be happy that she's lived here the last 25 years, just to see, to see what she's been able to accomplish with that skill. Whatever LISC does has impact, meaning, and uh, long-lasting sustainability in the community. So you asked me to uh, think of one word that describes Teresa, and I can't. I can think of two words. I can think of kind, and I can think of tenacious. And I, I, I believe that she uses her tenacity to accomplish the goals that her kindness demands. She has worked to bring organizations and people and communities together to create something new that is driven by an interest of the people who are most impacted by it. In Arizona, we have you know, the disposable house. People move every three years, which doesn't help create a community. Teresa wants to make sure that you can stay in the neighborhood you grew up in, you can raise your kids in the neighborhood you grew up in, and you can really build a neighborhood and a community. Teresa makes sure that the impact that you can see that is tangible are those individuals who are most involved, who are going to be riding the light rail every day, the people who are going to be living in those houses and working and having to travel back and forth from those homes, and the children who are going to be going to those schools have an advocate at the table to make sure that their parents' voices are being heard, that the neighbor down the street is being heard, that the person who rides the light rail who might have a disability is being heard. Teresa's one of the greatest advocates probably nationwide who understands how important that, that transportation makes life possible for our vulnerable communities, particularly our vulnerable communities here in the Phoenix area. As this new employee, a uh, young person, uh, idealistic, was on her way to this meeting, she asked Teresa, so Teresa, are you nervous about going into this meeting? And Teresa says, no, I'm not, I'm not nervous. I know what their concerns are. I know where their anger comes from. And since I already know where that anger is coming from, I have no need, I have no need to be nervous. I'm just going in to help them find the solutions that they need. I can really relate to why Teresa has uh, decided to retire and um, spend more time with her family and her grandchildren. I'm a grandmother too, and I know um, wh what she's looking forward to and, and how she's going to be uh, doing a new stage of her life, uh, spending more time with her family. I'm going to miss her. And, but I, I know she won't be quiet very long. I don't think that I would be as successful or love my job as much as I do if I hadn't had her as my first boss at LISC. She's just really fun and quirky, and if you really get to know her, she ha she's a blast to be around. <laughs> it's exciting to have this new chapter. Um, the new chapter in her life, this new chapter in LISC Phoenix life, and it the, what she has set in motion um, is only just going to keep going up. Congratulations, Teresa. You've meant a lot to this community. It's good that we have an opportunity to say thank you. Congratulations, Teresa. You deserve the Lifetime Achievement Award. I imagine the little girl, like me, in public housing and thinking there's not a whole lot more. And Teresa's making sure that there's a whole lot more for everybody that's in public housing now.